New tonight at six, several people, including a local business owner, want to the person that you see here in this video identified. Surveillance cameras caught the suspect breaking into a cabinet store on the southwest side. rtv 6s Nicole Griffin is finding out this is not the only recent burglary in that area. It's all cracked. It's going to have to be replaced. The window here is going to have to be replaced. Anna Maldonado has lived in Mars Hill on Collier Street for 18 years. During that time, she hasn't had many problems. That was until Thursday morning, two days after Christmas. Her daughter came out to the garage to find someone broke into her Jeep. Her door was wide open. Her back trunk was open. The garage door here was open. They had took the sledge, the sledgehammer right here and beat her glass in hit the side of my car. The thief left behind the sledgehammer but took a gym bag and a table saw. The suspect also vandalized the garage. They cut the beam lights on the bottom of the garage door, took those and broke the hand pulley on the garage. It's just a shame you can't have anything even locked up. The car is locked in your own locked garage because they will find a way to get in. Right down the street from where Anna's garage was broken into a local business here. Barber Cabinet Company was also broken into and if you look right up here, they do have surveillance cameras on the outside of their business. Now the owners here did not want to speak on camera, but they were able to give me that surveillance video. This video captures a man carrying several items out of the store. The owners say he came back twice, the first time around 1 a.m. Saturday, then again around 5 a.m. In this case, the suspect stole several tools. We work hard. A lot of people work hard for what they get. And people like this need to get a job, you know. Anna saw a post in the Southwest Association of Neighbors on Facebook from the cabinet company alerting people about the burglary. She's hopeful that someone will recognize the person in the surveillance images since it also could be connected to her case. We got pictures and we will find you. Nicole Griffin, RTV6. And tonight